here's the thing though like i'm not gonna say those movies have been oh. realistic like holy but like there are parts no, it, where it's like, realistic is... that that part where the ghost of jesus from the ark of the covenant melts all those nazis faces <laughs> <laughs> okay, but like, hold on. That's kind of wild. But like, a lot of it is grounded. She's coming. Who? She's coming, Dan. She's coming for all of us. Who's coming? Every year, she comes. And I'm so sick of it. I'm sick of her. I'm sick of her fucking skis. She's coming for us. And you, everybody knows about it. Because you see the advertisements everywhere. It's Shen Yun. She's coming, Dan. To talk about what China was like before communism. What? Do you not know who Shen Yun is? What are you talking about? Dan, you can't be like this displaced from like reality. Maybe it's because you like lived in a smaller town and I live in like a big city. Like you're a country mouse and I'm like a city, the city cow or whatever. They're, what's the analogy? I don't know. But you, so you don't know who Shen Yun is. I have no idea what you're talking about. Every year, Dan, for the last like, I'll say five years, maybe six years. Around like this time of year, typically Shen Yun comes to town and there's a bunch of posters. And there's a bunch of fucking there's posters everywhere, everywhere. You go to like a small like, say like like a locally owned like cafe. Oh, what the fuck? I just can't do it though, unfortunately. So if you break his shield, you you just break him. I like it though. I like the aggressive. This. A guy has the same problem as the pitchforks guy, where if it hits you once, there's nothing you can do except, like, accept your fate. So just eat it. Dude, I can't believe you don't know who Shen Yun is here. I don't know. Don't no bother. Don't you, send me a picture. I don't care. I don't know who it is. A picture is not going <laughs> to say, oh, now I know this person. She comes every year and she talks about what China was like before communism. I don't know what it is. I think it's like dancing maybe, but every single year. And you see it like on the side of the road while you're driving to work. You see it in every restaurant you walk into. Okay, so, so you you're, what you're saying TV. is every time around New Year's, she goes to Pittsburgh. Yeah, but I'm, I'm sick of her. She's always here. She never stops coming. Well, she's not making the trip to Tokyo. I don't, I don't There's see probably it. some bad blood there. They probably, <laughs> the Chinese don't want to put on their shows for the Japanese. There's some, there's some, I don't know why. Like, I can't explain it. I, I couldn't tell you why there's bad no, yeah, blood. No one, no one's certain. <laughs> no one knows. Something might have happened. Like maybe like Japan borrowed like China's like pandas and never gave them back or something like that. Yeah, probably, probably something like that. They probably like took like a weird trip to Nanking and like, you know, they were like hooligans. Like they might have thrown some gum on the sidewalks and like maybe no. did like a graffiti. Couldn't have been, couldn't have been that. Oh baby, this is a good one. We just need one good charge. I think we break him here with one charge. Uh, we did damage though. Oh, I like I like how you saw he was doing a big red attack and you're like, fuck it, I'm gonna, I'm get in there. I'm gonna hit this guy. Oh my god. Fuck that guy. I hate him. I mean, that made me a little horny. That was great. That More horny so than eating the potato boy? <laughs> yeah, that was really good. So this door is closed until you kill that guy, which is like kind of like, that's bullshit. Like the yeah. game shouldn't like make you. When's the net last time I got a good costume? You don't? Uh, well, that's pretty good. Not that we, I don't think we've ever even talked po Polendia, but. Get I don't some even know who is. He's the robot that they let into the hotel that you were like, why they let this robot in? 
Oh, I talked to him. He, he bought the crank from him. No, the other one. The oh, one okay. The, the one that was there first. Yeah. Nice. Open up. Oh, who's talking to me? Sounds like he's praying. Fucking creepy. Gun, it's gun, kinda... gun, gun. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was our reward. It's kind of a weird thing, though. Like, you go into a church, and then there's usually, like, you walk in, there's, like, a reception area. Then there's, like, the church itself. And then maybe there's some offices and a bathroom. This church has a big church bit. And then the most of it is, like, underground. Like, who the fuck built that wild, like, creepy underground church area? Puppets. Yeah, maybe. Hey, back at the church, I never went down that hole where they found the bugs. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll sort out the hole. Falcon eyes, I choose you. And I don't think we've used any of our upgrades, so we can upgrade it as much as we can. Potentially. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I love that. I love that. It's kind of like a, like a, that is literally just guts his arm. How do I upgrade moves it? moves mechanic. Combat. Modify? Yeah, I think so. Increase the explosive range. Oh, we only had one. All right. Can we, can we try it out in like the courtyard here? We'll just try it out on my enemies. Level up. I'll use my power. Thank Give Palendia you. his box too. So are you finding <coughs> that you need more <coughs> stamina? No. For dodging, maybe? No. Okay. Level what, what you think you need. Okay. They're going for 3000 a pop now. It's expensive. Wait, give Palendia the thing. I don't know why. I'll no. give it to him later. Okay. No, you won't. You're right, but I don't need anything from him. Like, I'll, I'll I, by the time I need something from him, I'll give it to him. I don't need to go out of my way you, to give it to him. You can buy quartz from him, by the way. I don't even know order. what quartz are. Oh, yeah, we've got a piece of quartz, too. Fuck. Quartz is how you upgrade your P organ, Dan. Don't fucking talk about my P organ like that. My P organ is fine the way it is. Quartz is how you get it better. Oh, I try. So basically, she's I saying can't. like, yeah, I can't. I can't. She's saying that the Archbishop, like, want to save some people, and uh, basically, oh, that looks like a trap. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. I think what happened here is that a lot of people ran to the church for shelter from the monsters and the puppets and shit kind of got out of hand here so to speak oh wow that's awesome Dude, this is I so like cool how hold why did you think i would not like that i don't know i like that he holds it like a gangster too like he's like throwing up a fucking like his gat Problem is it doesn't have- Now I wish I would've got that upgrade that let me recharge that. Well, that we have quartz, we can go do it whenever you want. <clears throat> you also get one towards the end of the game that just like the- the legion- the legion meter or whatever the fuck it's called fills up on its own over time. That's pretty good. Which is pretty useful. So everybody went to hide in the church because shit was getting whack, and the archbishop guy was like, "Hey, I'll handle this." And didn't look like he, went he off did. To, like save the world. I don't think he did a good job of it. I don't mean to no. judge, but <laughs> any constructive criticism. Shit. Like, what would you do better? I uh, he didn't get the booster glaive. That was his big problem, I think. I won't fault mm. him for not having a gun arm because he probably had a human arm. 
But, uh... Oh, the Holy Grail. He he should have got the Booster Glaive. I don't know what weapon oh, he used. Oh, Dan, you just reminded me. What? My in-laws were in town last weekend. Mm -hmm. And they found the Holy Grail? Well... They wanted to watch the new Indiana Jones movie. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah, <laughs> baby. Get the popcorn out. Spread the Cheez-Its all over the floor. It's time for a party. <laughs> just spread them around and just stomp them up. So here's the thing, though. They, they did do. They did something that's wild. I, we watched probably like an hour and a half of it. Can I, where can I go? Oh, up there. We watched probably like an hour and a half of it. I was pretty unimpressed. It was not very good. I did kind of like old man Harrison Ford just punching people. I thought that was great. He's like, who are you? Like, who are you people? What are you doing in my museum? And he's just like punching people. Mm -hmm. I kind of like that. I liked the part but, in the beginning where it was young old Indiana Jones, but for, at some point Indiana Jones became like a parkour champion. It's like he's like jumping on motorcycles and doing crazy stunts. Oh yeah, yeah, he was doing some wild whoa, stuff. Whoa, in the whoa, whoa, whoa! Also, it had like such a like. There's probably a word for this, like Chekhov gun kind of thing, but for villains, like I saw Mars Mickelson or whatever the fuck his name is, and I was like, that's gonna be the bad guy. Like. That's the only actor that's getting paid more than a thousand dollars, like in this shot. Like, he's he's gonna come back and be the bad guy. And lo and behold, he came back and was the bad guy. So it was pretty subpar. It wasn't very good. Did you watch the also, thing? it's no. Here, I'm getting to that. You didn't even watch the fucking full thing. Here's the thing, Dan. I wasn't even commenting. Like, you know how when we watch movies together, we just talk shit the whole time? Uh -huh. I wasn't. I was just sitting there watching the movie. They, I woke up the next day. They had watched the movie without me. Why? The rest of it. I don't know. Isn't that like wild behavior? I didn't yeah. even address it because I was like, I was like, okay, whatever. Because I, I was like, oh, are we going to watch the rest of the Indiana Jones movie? And they're like, oh, we already watched it when you like were still sleeping. I was like, oh, okay. That's, that's crazy. That's like that's kind of weird like that's fucked up yeah it is like i could understand if i had been like like being like oh this movie fucking sucks like the whole time or something but like i was just sitting there watching the fucking indian jones movie Dude, you don't even know what happened you don't even know the crazy shit that happened at the end no i don't i heard that i heard that all the the like the the, the future nazis like put on their uniforms though and like went like full nazi uh-huh that's about all i know though and that somehow archimedes like was like there's this big archimedes thing they fucking go back in time and meet archimedes no way that's you're making that up i'm not making it up they go back in time and meet archimedes <laughs> and they're like hanging out with with like the fucking greeks in their like ship or whatever and then, what? Uh, and then, well, the plane crashes actually. And then, they are. Uh, everyone's like, "Hey, Harrison Ford, we need to go like back home." But he's like, I'm "So fucking hard for Archimedes. Like, I should just live here with him, <laughs> but like study the past in, in the present." It's like that's not really archaeology if you're just living in the past. He's like, "I so much I could learn." I and could then, leave like just a puddle of cum here and it would petrify and then in the future I, I'll be in a museum forever. And then he's like, I'm gonna stay here forever. And they're like, we don't think you should. That's... <laughs> it's pretty good damage. But then they're like, no, you have to leave. But he's like, no, I fucking won't do it. So then they fucking knock him out and like force him to go back <laughs> to the present. And he's kind of like, When he wakes what? up, is he so angry? Is yeah, he like, he's, pretty, he's pretty pissed. Take like, me yeah, back like, to the Greeks. He's, but then he's like, oh, but then he meets his, like, ex-wife again, and they're in love, and he's like, oh, it's, I'm so, happy in the future. He's like, but that's kind of fucked up that he's an adult man who can make his own decisions. But they're just like, no, you can't. And they force him back to the future. He's like, if he wants to live in the fucking past and be friends with Archimedes, why can't you let him? 
So is his is the is the woman you're talking about the girl from the first one, the one that he basically statutory raped that we talked about earlier? I mean, I don't point? remember which. I don't remember if it's that girl or the other. It's girl. Miriam, right? Because there I was a picture remember. of her on his fridge in the beginning, and it zoomed in on it. Oh I was yeah. Like, oh, she's she coming back. Is she she's gonna come back. Or is this just the way? I don't know. But she. Oh no, this is actually. Yeah, this takes us to a different thing. But we need to do this. Um, but yeah, he, she's the one that he like statutory raped and like it's just kind of glossed over Well, yeah, but then they get back together and he doesn't get to hang out with Archimedes And then like that Egyptian guy who we now know is fucking Gimli is there and it's like a fucking party. Oh, really? Yeah, Gimli shows up It's fucking nuts Did you did you learn about that before or after you saw that movie? I forget. Oh way after Oh, okay so oh, even this as like was an old be man. hostile towards me. Oh, this is a different person. So they just have that same hammer. I'm, I'm you know the... What's the lie? What's the lie, Jesse? I think you want him to go to Hotel Crap. <laughs> Hotel Crap. It's not a lie, but like we, this guy gives you boss weapons, which we might want to take a look at. So. Oh, is that get it? Get rid of him. Yeah. So now, remember how every time we've killed a boss, we've gotten like special ergo. We can uh -huh. turn that into like special weapons. Oh, nice. there's a lot of really cool technique ones. The issue with that system is though that <laughs> it does not take advantage of the the two part system, the handle and the weapon. It just it, oh. it comes as a weapon. So you can't boost. Well, some of them I'm sure have something like a boost, but it, I I think it's poorly thought out. Like, cause most of them are very good, and people say like they're the best weapons in the game. But I didn't use them in my playthrough because it's just not as fun as putting together your own weapon. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so Indiana Jones, go. You can't believe they didn't let you fucking watch the end. You didn't get to see it like really pop off. Yeah, cause that's fucking wild. Do you want? Here's the thing though, like, I'm not gonna say those movies have been oh. realistic. Like holy, but like there are parts no, it, where it's like, realistic. Is... That that part where the ghost of Jesus from the Ark of the Covenant melts all those Nazis' faces. <laughs> okay, but like hold on, that's kind of wild. But like a lot of it is grounded in like he he's a professor. Like he knows Latin. Like he studied Latin so that he could like you know figure out where blah 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 this clue is. And stuff like that. And then you're telling me they just teleport. Is he like speaking Greek the whole time? Like he can understand them or they're just speaking English. And he's like, yeah, I know these guys. Dude, I can't fucking remember. <laughs> There's no details. way that they're speaking Greek. There's no way. I don't, I think they're probably not, but I can't remember the explanation as to why people could understand each other. Or maybe they were speaking Greek and it's like, oh, I know, I know. Oh this. yeah, push this, push this, push this. I studied ancient Greek back in college. Why couldn't I just catch it on fire earlier? Fuck. Did you open the shortcut yet? I'm trying to remember. I don't fucking think so. Where does this take us? Let's just take this back here. So, so we we need to go down that ladder maybe, and what see ladder? where that takes. There was a ladder in the last room. Right here. This just takes us into this room, yeah, where I got rid of the goo. Yeah, but you weren't on this side of the fence before. You were separated. Oh. Yeah, yeah, we just need to open this gate here. And then we're good. Oh, I see. That makes sense. Oh, there's like a winch. Oh, the chain. Dude, classic fucking indie. <laughs> Gotta love that guy. What a rat. I think that's... Yeah, actually, I was going to say, I think that's probably the last one, but there's no way, right? Like, there's going to be, like, new Indiana Jones. Like, who who's the new Indiana Jones? Like, who would you cast? <clears throat> who would I cast? Yeah, like, who who's the new Indiana Jones? Is it Timothy Chalamet? <laughs> I, I mean, that seems... No, there's that's... no way. But I think that could, I don't know that that could happen because he's got so much else going on, but it would not surprise me. Oh, a boss. Yep. Do we want to fight Jesus? 
This is actually a really good boss. This was the first boss in the game that I was really like, that's a good boss. Like, I was happy with this boss. <laughs> this is probably the, the first boss that... I said the last one took me a fair bit of tries, but it wasn't that hard. Oh, it's... This it, one took... What's that? It's like a, me a bit. dead a dead pope. But it's the tail of a centipede. That's what the pope looks like. He's just looking is, at you. Is this like, the archbishop? This game is very sexual, yes. I am a sex bot. <laughs> Classic archbishop behavior. <laughs> <laughs> He's like really trying to figure out like what is this fool doing? A red nose. Get back down here, you coward. This was the big hole, remember, that you were talking about. Oh. What if I just would have went down it? You would have just died for fall damage. Oh, I thought you could like go around the side. I see. I like the big toad thing. Big toad spider. I, I like his little, face. I, I was hoping down. a little man would crawl out of the mouth instead of a tongue. It's like a little tongue man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is the Archbishop. I told you I would have done a better job. Fallen Archbishop. Oh, well, that hurt. So this is I, this is what I've been worried about. This is like our the point where like the game, the bosses are about this level of hard, mostly from here on out. Some of them are better for dodging. I don't remember if this guy... I know he was pretty easy to block, so I'm interested to see how well we can dodge. Oh, he just knocked me just, out of my thing. That never happens. Oh! Well, we just need to learn his moves. Blast him! Oh, that was a mistake. I like that you think you're just invincible. I am invincible. How much does that take, guy? Been paying attention. Fuck! I can't charge that... it on this guy. I really want to so badly, though. That looks like he's input reading, though, because every time you hold in the charge, he does that move. Have the fire thing. We do have the fire. The holy flame. And religious figures of authority have it rough. Like it's in like video games. Like they're either like pedophiles in the media or they're just like they always turn into like terrible monsters. That's not true. Sometimes they're giant turtles. Okay, I guess that's true. Dan, I think he was a tortoise, actually. I'm not a fucking Don't scientist. Don't forget your kid, That means you bad. So you've noticed, though, every time he slams, he does a follow-up tweet. He? Like, it looks like it's a good time to get in on it, but he does not sweep. That looked like it would have been a good time. He didn't sweep there. He did sweep. Like, oh, no, no, not like the red slam. Like, the one where he slams, like, the one that's fast. Oh, I see. The forward one with the arm. Oh, that's fast. Come now, boy. This is like a combo. And combo. I mean, I almost we killed him there. To... Yeah, we just need to learn his moves a little bit better. I don't think I need to learn his moves at all. I almost killed him without knowing any of them. Uh, that that's that guy seemed like a total chump. And if I were to summon, I would beat him on this first try. 
I, that is always an option, the summon. I don't think I should, though, because the summons are too powerful in this game. Well, it can't, unless we absolutely need it. Yeah. I love trying to get the charges in when I absolutely know I can't. Yeah, it's, that's the one I'm talking about. He's gonna do a big sweep now. <laughs> yeah, this one, this one's over. Just let it, just let me die. <laughs> oh man, that's how I want to go. Smashed by a giant spider <laughs> priest butt. Yeah, with potato boy in your mouth. <laughs> oh, thanks, guy. Do you think you'd rather be like the the tortoise pope from Elden Ring, or like, say you're the tortoise pope from Elden Ring, or this guy? But if you're if you pick this guy, like, basically like you can have like all the power like you can imagine. But if you're the turtle pope, like anything you can get away with as this guy. Whereas if you pick the turtle pope, like you just have to live in that church and like give people like advice. I'll be the turtle boat. Man, you wanna turn into this guy? Oh. Man, if I was this guy, the first thing I would do is like rob a man. For what purpose? <laughs> I'm sorry, what are you where are you gonna spend the money? Oh, you know what I would do actually? No no no. I would go like way way like a like a like a a truck that's like a resupply truck for like a fast food store. And I would just hold it open and like drain the contents of it by like open mall. Just uncooked food? Yeah, well I don't think you need cooked food to get this thing. <laughs> His stomach acid probably does a bang up job. I don't know that he needs food of any kind though. This looks like the kind of creature, though, that just, like, his existence, like, looks like it hurts. He is fallen. The word fallen in the name. As compared to the turtle like, pope, looks like he's probably just fine. Never he's just... Good thing. Oh, I couldn't get away there. set ever changed? Does he have a second form? A second form? Or like Another a second, L like, not, not ne even necessarily that, but just like he starts to do other shit. Uh, yeah, he has a pretty limited move set. He only has a four move. We just need to get better at like learning when we can punish <laughs> them. You say that, but I would never do that. Uh, that's so not stop, true, so stop. The only time I've ever done that, I think, is for Radon. Maybe Melania. I had to. No, I remember for Melania, you just had... You just picked up two big... So it took a lot of time to strategize what we were going to do, but there was no strategy in the fight. It You're was right. Like we so had Radon, to is the only, Radon is the only time I've ever done that. Maybe the Electric Pirate, too. Oh, you're right. I you're 100% right. I forgot about that guy. Because I remember watching. I watched the Millennium clips not that long ago, and like basically, you just summoned Pot Junior, and you would both just try to stomp her into a corner with your massive swords and throwing <laughs> pots at her. I believe and we succeeded in doing that. You would stun lock her to oblivion, and then. It just, it all depended on how long you could get Pog Jr. to survive in the second round. And how much, like, of her, like, like, um, butterfly bullshit she could do. And how, yeah, because Pot Jr. couldn't run away from that. He didn't know how to.
Also, oh, come on fire. Also, how much he would water foul is always like a problem. That's easy to dodge. Oh, I love the butt scoot. That's amazing. We're doing really good this time. We got a lot of gear. Don't forget your favorite words, damn. That's so much damage. And it looks cool. We finished we it with the gun. Him yet. Oh, there's the crit. Nice. Didn't even need it. This guy was a chump. Easy. <laughs> Second stage. Thank you. <laughs> Did you want a second stage? It sounded like you're pretty happy with just beating him there. What do you mean? I was talking about wanting a second stage during the fight or a second move set. Oh, okay, I didn't want to spoil anything because you seemed like you were pretty intent on like just ending it there. And then... That's because I thought it cool, was. Though. No, I'm much happier if there's more to it. You're happy with he? He? Because I was gonna say something because like you said something about his tongue being a man, but it's more like his like little back snake. Yeah, that's. I was wondering where that man went. Oh, I just realized. Do you think that thing doesn't have a face because, like, the, the, the spider monster has the face? It I did no damage it. for some reason. Oh, I can't hit it. It also did no damage. My gun doesn't work. He still has, like, a little butt blast. If I hit the body part, does it damage him? Yeah. <laughs> so you just discovered the core mechanics of this fight? What? Wait, what is the core mechanic of this fight? Depending on what side you stay on is who you have to fight. A lot of oh, people tend to find the, the, the spider monster easier because he has the same moveset and you know how to fight. Yeah, yeah, but I want to see what this guy's up to. Nice. I don't like that my gun doesn't work on it. Ow! Nice dog. I think you're a little ambitious uh, uh, there about. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> That's the end of the episode. Gold though. Will be our grave. I oh. Jesse, I am quite pleased that we died that fight. Because we made a terrible mistake. What? One that would not have been rectifiable should we have killed that guy. Oh, the boss clothes. We didn't have the boss clothes on. Put our fancy boy outfit on now so we don't forget. When you, you do the end of the episode, please. All right, Dan. When I die, I want to be cremated. Which is the right, is it? No, it's not. Yeah, no, it's that one. Yeah, it was the, You're the, right. the blue fancy yeah, yeah, boy yeah. one. That's fancy. When you die, you want to be cremated? Yeah. I mean, that's hard to say. I guess I would believe that. I mean, what realistically, are there other options? Like other, you could be cremated or you can just be buried, I guess. You don't seem like the type that would want to be buried. Unless you have some, like, bullshit where you're like, I want to be, get, like, a fucking sky burial. And it's like, well, that's not feasible. 
You should donate mm -hmm. your body to science because they could find out some a lot of stuff. <laughs> but uh, so I actually was on the fence about that with Rock because I kind of like the idea of it, but I also don't want them like touching my like my like nipples? my wiener sometimes gets like really small when I have like no blood flow and I'm cold. So I don't want them to like laugh at my tiny wiener and like like mess with my like boobs and stuff like that. You know what I mean? I, so I guess you'll get cremated. Sure, why not? <laughs> Do you ever worry about that? Like, when you die, if people are going to laugh at your wiener? No, because they see so many dead penises, they don't even react to it, I'm sure. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm just insecure. I, I don't... I don't want... I don't want them to laugh. Um... Yeah, I, I, it's the truth. I do want to be cremated. But I did specify, I said it's unlikely that this could happen, but I do want like a like a Viking burial. The old yeah, ship. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Flaming area. That, that won't yeah. Happen. Somebody should buy a lake and just rent it out for people that want to do that. I bet they would make a fortune. But like they'd still have to recover your body and dispose of it properly. No, just let it sit at the bottom of the lake. That's illegal. If you own the lake, why? Because that's improper, like, treatment of a body. You have to <laughs> dispose of human bodies properly. It's against the law to just yeah. bury them in a lake. They're disposed at the bottom of the lake. That's not, you can't do that. You, that, you sound like a serial killer. I disposed of the bodies at the bottom of a lake. No, but I would go through the pro proper channels. Like I would but say just, to the government. There are no proper channels because this is not a thing that exists. You can't do it. All right, so we we let them burn the boat. The body probably gets mostly burned. Then I send in like no, it would the scuba it wouldn't, diver. It wouldn't. The body would not okay. get mostly burned. The body you would just but, have okay. a slightly charred, water-soaked body floating in the lake. So Steve, the scuba diver, goes and he picks up the body, and then we like bury it. In You've the already somewhere. desecrated a body, though, so you can't do that. People are paying for us to do it. Oh, I'm sorry, Jesse. Oh, someone paid you. Oh, so now it's legal because they paid you to do it. What is what is is desecrating a body against the law? Like, yes. why? What does that even mean? What, what kind of law? Who made these laws? They because you can't be messing with human bodies. You have to dispose of them through the proper channels. I will be the proper channel. That's not an option. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>